right here in this Northeast region, we have great access to world-class universities and research institutes, startups, and entrepreneurs, as well as companies that are all interested in accelerating technology for our soldiers. Well, this model has shown now some great successes. I mean, a new material system, for example, from research to transition into the field in 22 months, when typically a new material system takes, you know, five to 10 years to make it out into the marketplace. We have a world-class ecosystem when it comes to tough tech and physical science innovation. Having that visibility really allows them to see, okay, so I know the Army is looking for this this particular solutions and I can think of this company, oh wait, I can think of this other company or universities where if they can partner together, it's going to make a really synergistic and even better product. We are in a region of the country where a lot of universities are doing uh, top research. We are realizing that none of these universities have all the expertise that they need to solve problems. Therefore, we do not compete, but we collaborate. The UMass Lowell's motto is, is learning with purpose. I think that that's emblematic of the partnership that we have with ARL Northeast as scientists and engineers. We can end up sort of really focused on, on what the science is and not really thinking about what the impact it can have on society. And so having these partnerships with ARL helps us always keep that in mind. WPI education is is inherently project-based. So our students from the ground up work in teams for an external sponsor. One of the problems that we're working on is corrosion. We have built technology in collaboration with CAIL that automatically collects corrosion data. It integrates it into one repository and it makes it ready for AI. Partnership with ARL and MIT really hinges on the unique aspects of both organizations that has really broadened our horizons as we think far into the future about what the war fire meant. We started originally with a problem of building a bridge over a gap that evolved into structures that are robots and then how do they assemble themselves. We've ended up looking at, well, can we completely rethink the way we do robotic design? There's a lot of exciting research happening here at UMass Lowell in partnership with ARL Northeast developing new products that can help the soldier in the field. Creative additive manufacturing techniques that allow us to combine different materials, which allow us to make much more effective propellant. Working with better materials for protection, whether or not it's helmet protection or body armor protection. And we've done some work with wearable sensors in human-robot interactions. I myself used to be that soldier in the field. What I found during my time is sometimes you would get a equipment or a technology that had very little use. So it would get out to the field, you could tell it was developed strictly in a lab, and it didn't have the right or the correct applications that the soldier needs. Our KRI, we keep that in mind. We want to provide the soldier something that will be useful to them, so we want to include the soldier in all of our development projects. At ARL we've developed a very core expertise in what we do. We have a very unique ability to do this rapid discovery, high-end research, but then hand it off to an industrial partner. So the way I think about it is we make stuff. We make real physical stuff. We're able to take the technologies that we're developing here at Veloxin, specifically nanostructured materials and metals, making them into components that customers like the Army care about. That means making it in sizes, shapes, and volumes that the Army needs in order to actually make use of these sorts of technologies. Partnering with ARL is really a great collaboration for PPG because typically our research, we just get insights from customers and it's very market focused, whereas the ARL researchers are more fundamental focused. We do a lot of work in scaling up new products, taking it just from an idea in the lab all the way to the front lines. There's a revolution going on right now in the composition of vehicles. So there's a lighter weight alloys, there's composite materials. And one of the issues with using these materials is joining them together so they can produce safe, crash-worthy structures. So these new class of structural adhesives allows for the manufacture of crash-worthy vehicles, but also they're lighter weight, which will reduce fuel consumption and generally reduce overall pollution to the environment. This is what it's all about here, bringing together companies, government, universities, 
those here on campus, those outside the campus, those across the Northeast region and Middle Atlantic states really allowing us to advance technologies for the benefit of the warfighter.